What's up retro gamers and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna take a look at my top five games of 1990. Jump in your attic guys, dust off your Commodore 64. Yes, I'm that old. As we attempt to rescue the fuzzy wuzzies from near death and torture in this brilliant Commodore 64 platformer creatures. Came out towards the end of the 8-bit era guys, but it's still one definitely worth playing if you have a Commodore 64 or an emulator. Number four's choice, before there was Captain Jack Sparrow, there was a wannabe pirate named Guybrush Threepwood. That's right, this point and click adventure by LucasArts defined the genre in my opinion, as we follow Guybrush Threepwood trying to aspire to be a mighty pirate and take on the evil forces of LeChuck. Coming in at number three, I don't know how they did it guys, but they managed to niche down on all the tactics that American football has to offer and along came John Madden Football, one of the greatest sports games on the Sega Mega Drive. Definitely worth a check out. And speedily coming in at number two, there's not a lot much more to be said about this game other than it's, well... Wipeout before there was Wipeout. The speed of this game is fantastic and it's still played today by modders with some crazy 99 players on the track at the same time. And of course, you probably guessed it, my number one for your top five games of 1990. It's the one that put the Super Nintendo on the map when it was released, Super Mario World. It was the first sighting of Yoshi and it's one of the best Super Mario platforming games you can play still to this day in my opinion. And there we have it guys, my top five games of 1990. If you think there's anything that I've missed out there, please drop a comment down below. If you enjoyed the content, hit the like button and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.